Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement Google AdMob banner in your Unity project. The first thing you need to do is look for this page, the Google AdMob Unity Guide. Look for the download section to download the plugin. After you have downloaded the plugin, go back to Unity and accept import package custom package and click the package you have downloaded make sure you import everything Okay, cool. Mm, before we continue, we need to do some setup for Android platform. So, go back to the page and look for the initial setup your app mod ID section. As you can see, the Android we need to add the metadata into the Android manifest application tag so let us copy this metadata back to unity and look for um, plugin should be plugin android and android manifest double click to edit it Then we will paste the metadata into the application tag. As for the app mod app ID, we will configure later and I will show you where we can find it. So now let's close this manifest file and iOS platform does not require any additional setup. So now let's create an empty game object. We call this banner. Then we will create a new script for it. So we call this as banner. Let's double click to edit it. Hmm. Okay, this will be the script we will attach to the banner object. So firstly, we will declare a private banner view. We call this banner view which is from the Unity Mobile Google Mobile Ads API. So now on the start method we will use the mobile ads dot initialize to initialize the SDK. So the initialize method require an FID. So Let's define an app ID so that we can put in inside the method. Because the app ID will be different for different platform. So we are using hash if Unity Android. If it is an Android platform, we will declare a string app ID equal to empty string for now. Then else if hmm, should be el if yep. Unity iPhone then we define the same app ID MZ string for now mm. the error never mind and lastly we will set the MID to something else so we will and if cool now we can place the app id inside the method hmm. before we look for the app id let's remove the update method we will create another method called private void request banner 
As for this method, we will require another type of ID which is the add unit ID to request the banner F. So we will copy the platform checking statement at the, from the start method and change the app ID to banner unit ID. So let's copy and paste it to each of the condition. So now we will look, go look for the app ID and banner unit ID. So sign in into your app mode. At your Google app mode dashboard section, look for the apps. And after you have created an app for Android platform, then click the Ads unit. We will create an Ad unit for it. So select the banner option. Put a name for the Ad unit name. Then create Ad unit. As you can see, this will be the app ID, which is needed for the Android manifest also. And this one will be the banner unit ID. So we are not using the both of the ID over here for testing. So let's go back to the guide section. We will copy the sample ID for the app ID for testing purpose. So back to our script and paste it for the Android section. And mm, so we only okay go back to our page. Let's look for the banner unit app ID. So go to implement a banner section. You can look for um, so the app ID, look for the app unit ID for the banner. So let's copy this back to Unity, back to our script and paste it. Since we are not testing the iPhone, so we are leaving it empty. So let's call the request banner. Yep, I think we should copy this also. Copy this back to our Unity and look for the Android manifest file as we just now haven't complete the app unit app ID section. So we will paste it over here. Okay, save it. Back to our script. Mm, okay, let's put the app ID for iPhone platform to do do first as for the same for the banner unit ID. So now we after we have the banner ID ready then we set the banner view we go to new banner view we place the add unit banner unit ID in then as you can see the banner view require the ad size and the ad position. So we will be using ad size dot banner. There are different other different type of ad size also. As for the ad position, we will place it on the top. So now we create a ad request request. You go to new ad request dot builder and then dot view. Now after we have a request ready, then we call banner view dot load ad. We place a request inside. So now our ads banner script is ready. So go back to Unity. Hmm. We will place a script inside a banner object. So now let's test it on the and wait, I should make sure you don't forget to resolve the play service dependency. Look for Android if forward force resolve. Okay, cool. Now let's test it on our Android emulator. View setting, make sure your platform is Android. View and run. Yep, demo is fine. Replace it. Now we wait for the build to be ready.
Yep. As you can see, the ads is loaded correctly. So as long as you see a test ad from the Google Ad Mod, means you have successfully integrated the Google Ad Mod. And this should work fine for the iOS platform also. So I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.